Hey, it's Michelle at Counseling Recovery, and today I want to talk about the codependent person's high. So this happens when the codependent gives because they get their value from giving to other people. So what happens is a normal giver is going to give and it's not going to be a big deal because they know their boundaries and they know what they can give and what they can't give. But when the codependent person gives, their value is wrapped up in that. So when they get a chance to contribute and give to somebody, they feel that rush of excitement, kind of like a high. So they feel like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get to rescue somebody. I'm gonna get to be important. I'm gonna get to contribute. And there's a high emotionally with that because our value gets tied up into what we're giving versus who we are. So unfortunately what happens also is that there's an expectation that we have on the back end of this that we don't often get aware of, which is uh, we may want some form of recognition coming back to us, but we don't often get that. So what happens is then we crash into resentment and hurt, which ends up hurting our relationships. So the thing about being codependent is you have a big heart. You know, that is what we wanna preserve. We don't want that to change. We just need to be aware of where the line is between where it starts to hurt you or become part of who you are uh, and your identity versus just a asset or a trait. Because I love that I'm generous. I want to preserve that part of my nature, but I also know it can really get me into trouble if I overdo it. Or if I have that rush of excitement uh, in giving, I have to kind of step back and say, okay, Am I trying to find my value in what I'm giving versus turning around and just letting myself be me? Because that's more important in recovery, right? Not just what we do, it's who we are and how we can just be ourselves because that's really recovery. And sometimes that can feel a little boring because that codependent high is really exciting. We feel really uh, important when we give sometimes. And again, that isn't something that needs to go away. It's just something that may need to be curbed a bit or have some boundaries around because that big heart is what we want to protect. Uh, part of what we need to do too is to be able to assess how that giving is impacting our relationships and what the quality of our relationships are. So I just made a relationship checklist. I'm going to leave the link in this post or you can go to counselingrecovery.com um, it's a pretty thorough guide and it includes three checklists for you to decide where people are in your life. You're going to have a supportive behavior checklist, a challenging behaviors checklist, and your own behavior checklist. Because when you know the health of your relationships, then you're going to know what to fix and where you might need to back up and take better care of yourself. So that's my new guide. I'm super excited. I've had a lot of people sign up for it and really uh, find it helpful. You'll definitely have some aha moments with your relationships because if we don't know the quality of our relationships and if they're working for us, we're going to be really frustrated. And I don't want that for you. I want you to be able to assess where your relationships are today so that you can figure out what you want to do tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye.